Hello and welcome back to the third part of my mini series on how to ride the Grand Grouchy bikepacking event. Uh, the Grand Grouchy is a five island Audax across five of the islands of the, the Canary Islands. And this video um, is going to show you how to ride on the third island, which is Grand Canaria. So if I go to my share screen, um, I'd urge you to check out the Grand Grouchy website. As always, it's a, it's a bit of a masterpiece, um, loads of information about all the different rides. Um, I'm going to be dealing with the trail, which is the one I rode, but it's also very, um, very valuable for the gravel as well. Um, but yeah, Matteo runs a race, beautiful photographer. It has got lots of beautiful photography, loads of information on there, um, but hopefully this will give you a bit more insight into how to ride. So um, I rode this with Sofian Sahili, and the, the the ride on Gran Canaria starts in the ferry port at Las Palmas de Gran Canaria. So we arrived, We took, I think we took the very first ferry from Fuerteventura, uh, was, I think it was about 7 a.m., um, it was just uh, just daylight when we got the ferry anyway. This was in, in November. Um, and I, it's a couple of hours, I think. There, there are fast ferries and slow ferries. I believe, if memory serves me correctly, we got the fast ferry. About an hour and a half, two hours tops. Um, so yeah, we were kind of like still early morning, probably nine, ten o'clock um, into the city. And it's a bit of a shock going straight into the city. Um, when you've been kind of in uh, basically the middle of nowhere, you know, suddenly there's traffic and people and junctions and, and stuff everywhere. So you, you, you go into the city and as you can see, it's all very urban. And then suddenly you're kind of out. Um, well, you're not even out of the city. You're in this big kind of, um, I guess, like gorge or valley. As you can see, it's built up around you. Um, and you're on this kind of cycle track, which which gradually is going uphill. Um I guess it's a bit of a floodway uh, if, if they have heavy rain. And yeah, you, you basically end up climbing out of the city and before you know it, you're out. Um, further on, it's, it gets pretty rough. Uh, it's really hard to ride. So this is, this is the trail edition. I'm not sure this section is in the gravel edition. Um, it would certainly be tricky on a gravel bike. Um, it's tricky enough on, on a, you know, a two-niner bike um, and it's not particularly pleasant it's one of those sections where you're really kind of just fighting against the bike to get going so as I say I think the gravel goes around this bit on the road um, but the trail goes straight up this valley in the middle and if you look at the map um, again on the right with right GPS one it will be this off-road checkered section here so it's not a massive climb um, just gradually up and out and then you're back on the roads and these these first bits, it's, it's more about getting out of the, um, just getting out of the kind of, out of the way. There's a few off-road bits. Again, they're those similar kind of dry riverbed style sections. Um, and then a few steep road sections here, sort of 25, 30 miles in. Um, and they're kind of like small roads, um, kind of out of the way, not much traffic through the kind of agricultural areas. Um, and they're quite steep. I mean, it's not it's not easy going, um, but it's easier than what's coming up further along. So as you can see, uh, my file is actually split into two sections. Um, so I shall swap in, in in a second to the next one. But as you can see, it's quite a stiff climb heading up to the island. Now bear in mind, all these all these islands are basically volcanoes, and Gran Canaria is. It's a spectacular island. I've been going there for years myself, training on the road, um, and this is my first time running off-road. But there's, but it's basically one massive volcano. You get up to over two thousand meters, um, and it is pretty spectacular. It's worth mentioning that all the towns are low down in that first ten miles, so you really need to try and resupply there because there's really not much sort of further wrong. Um, myself and Sofia got a little bit caught out with that um, in the race, and. As you can see, you know, Sofian really, really pushing on the on the pedals there. Um, you might get a little view to the left, um, but yeah, a big steep switchbacky climb. Um, lovely smooth shifting uh, <laughs> from Sofian under power, and you can see kind of where we came from down the bottom there. And this climb goes on for a fair old way. Um, you're you're climbing kind of probably a thousand meters or so, something like that. Um, so yeah, don't um, underestimate it. And as I kind of alluded to, um, the the resupply was a bit of an issue and we didn't really buy enough in the town. 
Um, so once we got up towards the top, um, you can see you pick up this road here again. Um, and yeah, we basically, uh, we got lucky. Like we were both really empty, we were running low on fuel. Um, and we found like a touristy food stall just in the, on the side of the road up here. So I wouldn't rely on that. Um, because it's really, uh, I don't know, it, it might not be there. It's a basically a guy kind of serving food out the back of his van, and it was like touristy snacks, like local honey and things like that. Um, overpriced, very expensive. I think we got like a bag of nuts and potentially a sandwich and a can of Coke. But it was enough just to keep us going. And that was up here on this, this road at the top. And then as you can see, you're, like, you're really high up here, um, 6,000 meters, um, and there's a few little off-road sections up here. Um, again, I'm not 100% sure if the gravel version goes up here or takes a more of a road route, um, but certainly on the trail, um, you're, you're into some kind of single track. Um, it's quite nice. It's hard going. Um, you've got altitude to deal with by this point, but yeah, kind of like floating through the trees. And the really incredible thing about Gran Canaria is there's there's like each side is very different. Um, so you're getting quite high here, so there's there's less vegetation quite rocky um, and those things are quite spiky so I wouldn't, um, wouldn't advise brushing against them too much um, so yeah it's kind of kind of a fun little bit a little bit of reward for all the hard work there was a little hike bike bit and then some road sections and as you can see you're basically you're up in the clouds here so the first two islands Lanzarote and Fuerteventura are fairly warm but now you really have to think about your clothing layers so it's just, uh, it's very easy to get caught in this kind of place because you're, you're hot on the climb all the way up and then suddenly you're kind of getting cold. So we kind of put all our, our clothes on. I had like an Albion insulated jacket, Sophie and just a rain jacket. And I've been training here before and it snowed. Um, so you just, you just can't be too careful. And if, even if it's just raining and you're going down the other side, uh, the road descents are really fast. Um, so if you get wet, you're just gonna really kind of, um, you can really freeze. You can see like the precipitation on the on the, the camera here. Also bear in mind that there's a lot of cars going up and down um, and the tarmac's quite smooth and that can mean that when it is wet, it gets really slippery. So you've just got to kind of keep your wits about you. It's very easy to kind of over relax once you've come down from that high height um, on a long descent. But uh, yeah, that's when accidents can happen. So that will be coming down. Um, where are we? Uh, that'll be coming down here, down this long road descent. You can see there's a few little off-road sections and quite a big off-road section here. Now, again, on this particular section, I have a feeling that this will only be on the, the trail section. It is very much like a mountain bike style descent. Um, and on a gravel bike, you'd really you'd really would struggle on it. Um, so I think that, I don't think that is, that is in the, um, uh, in the gravel version. Um, so yeah, on the whole, the, that descent isn't too bad. Um, you can see we've dropped out the clouds now, so, so it's kind of warmer. Um, but doing this on the gravel bike wouldn't be ideal. I was on a drop bar, two niner, um, with a rigid fork, so I was struggling to keep up on this section. And then it does go into some steps and rocky bits, um, which, which can be quite, basically it's technical single track. Um, it's probably the only really technical single track section on the trail route. Um, so yeah, you've got to just be a little bit careful. You can see narrowing up loads of like rocks and it's volcanic stuff, so it's quite quite hard. Uh, and you don't want to crash into one of those walls because, um, well, I think it will hurt. Um, but yeah, so you're, you're dropping down the island now. That's coming, coming down this section here. Um, and then you're on an absolutely spectacular section. So you can see from the profile, there's a bit of a descent and a bit of a climb, and then you're dropping down to the far north on the coast here. And this is, uh, you know when you've been on a, like on a, on a bike ride, you've been out all day, and then suddenly you just get this amazing section. So you're coming around the top, um, kind of going down that valley in the background there. Yeah. Um, so we've done most of the, uh, the single track. And then you just, this was one of those moments when like the sun was just at the right angle. There's a few little ups and downs in there. Um, but then the descent is just out of this world. I mean, look at that view, just fast double track. I mean, it's gonna be faster on a mountain bike, but I think the gravel one goes through here and you know, it's really doable on a gravel bike. Um, 
as you can see, yeah, just it's just wild, really wild and spectacular. Got the overtake on Sofian, uh, which <laughs> is quite funny. Um, and yeah, more of it the same further along as you. This is as you're descending down onto the coast on the back there. Um, so again, looking like I've uh, gone for the race and overtake on the side there. Um, so yeah, so that section is, is probably one of my most favorite sections of the whole route. Um, and then you basically end up on this coast road here. And I think we had a bit of a chase to get to the ferry. Um, there was like two ferries. I think there was a fast ferry and a slow ferry. And if we missed this one, then we would have been two or three hours um, before we could get the ferry to Tenerife. So yeah, we, we kind of rushed for the ferry. Um, and basically you kind of, with, with the, the tickets for the ferries, you can pre-book them, but we were just kind of like winging it and just buying tickets as we got to the ferry ports. So this is the ferry port. Um, as you can see, just as the sun's going down, we came, so the hills in the in the background there, um, that, that's where we came from. Um, so yeah, proper moody, really atmospheric. Um, and yeah, then we just, in the ferry port, there's a nice little kind of kiosk and office and, we just brought our um, our ferry tickets there, um, and that was pretty much that for Gran Canaria. Next island was Tenerife. So in the next video, I will show you how to ride the, the Tenerife section and do a bit of a guide on that. Thanks again for watching this video. I hope you found it uh, interesting and informative. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. And always, as always, like and like and subscribe. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, thanks for watching.